Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, we'll be getting into the large re-anchor. It is when the anchor points are further than 1.5 meters apart. So if I'm not able to reach it like this, it's a large re-anchor and we're going to treat it, treat it the same way as we are going to treat a large rope-to-rope -rope transfer. Let's get into it. I've climbed up in my ascenders until I meet the knots and now I want to move that way. There's two ways I can do it. I could change over into descent here and start a small rope to rope transfer to descent back into this one and up that. Or maybe I'm even able to change over straight into these ones and climb back up that way. So first thing I'm going to do is change over into my descender to start a new move. Changed over in my descender, so I'm ready to start ascending those ropes. So I will start with one rope, attach a second backup device. I will be using the duck for this. And get the other rope and connect it into my chest ascender. Give it a little bit of a tug. Get my foot loop. Do some rope management. So I have one set of ropes on that side. The loop is in front of me, not behind me. If you look careful in one of the videos, you can see that I end up in the loop. You go find it and tell me in the comments which one that is. I'm ready to start moving over to that rope. First, I will descend a little bit. Now you always want to keep some rope underneath you for rescue situations. If somebody needs to rescue when you end up in the bottom of a loop, it's a very fun exercise to do in a training center, not in the real world. So we always keep some rope, some loop beneath us. So now I can start climbing a little bit. And the trick is with climbing sideways is not going like this, but I actually go underneath, hold the rope a little bit, and I push myself, my leg down in the same vector as the rope, the same line. So I push that way, here we go, and send back up. Now one thing I have to take good care to, four is the angles. We don't want to go past 120. That's about this is 120. This is 90. So I'm going to aim for about 90 and see if that works for this situation. If not, I'm going to make a conscious decision. Do I want to go over 90 and up till 120? Because if I go over 120, the angles get too big and I actually, I'm actually multiplying the forces on the anchor points. So to keep the angles small as possible, I'll descend a little bit further. I keep paying attention to the loop. So right now I'm, I'll ascend a little bit, manage that back up. Manage the back up. Keep going a little bit more. And I've transferred all the way over to the new anchor points. and I can continue my climb. All right, so I've climbed all the way up to where I need to do my work. I change over into my descender because we always work in our descender. In my descender and I'm ready to descend down. So I take off my handled ascender. And I descend down until I'm at the level of my anchor points. Now normally, for a small re-anchor, you would just pull yourself in, grab the rope, slide back, 
and transfer straight over. But this is a large one. I cannot pull myself all the way over there. Then the swing back would be unsafe because there's all this dangerous stuff behind me. So I have to change over or make a rope to rope transfer in these ropes and climb back up and then change over again. I take my back up, put it on the ropes, attach the other rope in my chest ascender. Descend down a little bit more. And now I can start moving over that way. It looks like I'm going sideways, but actually I'm ascending, so I have to be mindful of managing this backup. Right now it's a full factor one, so I keep it as high as possible or as far as possible that way as I can. I do one step that way. I descend down a little bit. Do another step. And again, I'm pushing my leg that way in the direction that I want to go, which is up there. If you like, this re-anchor video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to always be notified of a new video. Let's continue. I watch my angles, I can still go a little bit. Descent down a bit more. And I do a step up again. Doing some rope management, watching where everything is. I will take one step up here. I can take off this backup device. Put it on the harness. Take the rope out of my rig. And now, here comes the good part. This is something where a lot of people sort of start making mistakes because everything went really smooth and easily and we just, oh, I need to change over into these set of ropes. And before you know it, you end up on one single point of contact. And I will show you after a word from the sponsor. Sponsor of this video is Industrio Klimme. And as you can see behind me, it's a beautiful training center situated in the Netherlands, right north of Amsterdam, where you can come in for all your work at height safety related training. You can come in for your Arata training, your GWO training, your basic working at height, your tower workers, any training you can think of. If you're interested in buying gear or want advice on gear or climbing materials, you can come to the visit the store next door or visit the website and order from there. Link will be in the description. All right, so what a lot of people tend to do is this. They think this is my, this is my main line and I look for the same line. I transfer over in my descender because it's a, a micro rope to rope transfer. So maybe I should not change over first. I can sk skip a few steps. They go like this, and now they think, well, I can move my backup device to the other rope. I could put my second one on, but it's so easy and quick. And if I take this one off, I'm not going to do it, but I'll take it out of frame a little bit. If I would take this one off and start transferring it, I will be in two ropes, but a single knot. And a single knot is still one point of contact. I might have like a bunny hair with multiple loops and everything, but it's just one knot. 
So that's not the proper way to do it. If you don't want to take any chances, you can clip into the anchor point with a cow tail, so you will not mess up. Or, one of the ways I like to teach if people want a quicker way and, and, and start skipping steps is you the new rope for your descender will be your backup line. So the wrong way would be to clip this one into my descender, but we're going to do it the right way. And the right way is rope management first. Clip my descender in my backup line. So now, let me show you. I have my descender, my backup device here. Rope goes into the knot, and on the other side, I have my uh, my descender. So I will give a little bit of tension in it, just a tiny bit. Now I have equal tension in my chest ascender and my descender. I can move my backup over, do some rope management. And I want to clip in my backup device here. If I would go like this, then this loop would be stuck in the backup device. So I'm going over like this, and then I can throw it over my head in a second. Then I step out of my chest ascender, sit back down in my descender, throw that over my head, and I have a clear system to go down. All clean, nice, neat and tidy. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay connected.